location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Attention all units, main channel 1053, 19th and Valentine. Okay, we got a confirmed stolen vehicle. I'm waiting to get another unit up here with me before I make a traffic stop. Southbound on Valentine from 22nd information. I have not engaged in my emergency equipment. I'm waiting to get a unit up here with me. It's occupied about six or seven times. Okay, Greg, uh, let's go ahead and blue light him. Headquarters information, we're westbound on Asher. Uh, just going to pass Pine Street. Still westbound, Nora Edward Henry, 728. Looks like a uh, gray uh, Caprice Classic. Westbound on Asher. Uh, we're passing uh, Lewis Street. <laughs> okay, headquarters still westbound on Asher. We passed Peyton. Uh, negative. Okay, they've nined out here on Asher. Uh, Stand by, stand by. Right, we're going through Freightline Motors, still westbound. All right, they're still rolling, they're still rolling. Information, we're still westbound, going through uh, Asher, right through uh, Fair Park. Still westbound on Asher, about the uh, 5700 block of Asher. Okay, we're coming up on Ash University headquarters. I advise you of direction as soon as we get up here. Oh. Okay. We gotta get over the medium. We gotta get over the medium. Okay, information headquarters, they have turned going southbound in the northbound lanes. Uh, we're gonna parallel them, see if we can pick them back up. Okay, information, Lieutenant. The speed is, is not excessive. They're about 40 miles an hour right now. <laughs> okay, headquarters, uh, we're passing Mabelville Pike. Uh, vehicle is still southbound. Southbound vehicles coming up on uh, looks like 65th Street. <coughs> okay, information we're uh, still southbound. They're looks like they're gonna bail out here in front of the Chevrolet place. Okay, they're still going, still going. There he goes, right there. Go, 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 go! Here he goes, in the train. Stop it, where's he at? 
65th and Gosh Spring. Get us a car there. Right there, that's him coming out on you. You get him? We got the driver in custody. General, subject in custody at 21, 21 hours. Attention all units, main channel will be 1064. All units resume normal at 21, 21. Jumped out of the vehicle. We chased the subject down the railroad tracks. We caught the driver. And we've got one more in custody. Right now, we're going to make our way back up to our units to check on our uh, car and the uh, suspect vehicle. Most of these, these uh, juveniles that we do catch in these cars, uh, of course, they're going to charge them with uh, theft by receiving uh, on, on the stolen vehicle. Uh, the, the average kid, uh, he won't serve any time uh, on these cars. The only thing he's going to get is probation. I've seen them get as high as five or six stolen cars uh, before the judge actually sentenced them to do to do any time in jail. Police, McCain. Uh, there's a rolling set of around in the back apartment. What's going on there? There's a late Eddie's, uh, Eddie's car. Okay, we'll get somebody out there in just a little bit, okay? All right. 222. See a Mr. Sutterfield, the 928 report to his vehicle. I've got a call here about a vehicle on West Street. I'm going to make contact with the guy that called it in. See if we can't get something done. Putting a broadcast out, maybe find the car. I go ahead, I'm 97 now. 104, uh, you make contact. Uh, 104, I think complaint is going to be pretty 910. Did you see him do it? Yeah, hey, I seen him when he done it. I was sitting right over at the lady's house when he done it. He just when walked he up here and sliced your tires while you watched Yeah. Him. Stuck the stuck the knife in the tire, and they were history. They were gone. But he he, he didn't want me going nowhere because he got teed off at me. Well, what did he get ticked off about? Huh? What's he ticked off about? Because I wouldn't tell him where he wanted to go. And I told him, I said, I don't go nowhere, Bubba. Well, what's what happened? And then we had an air officer. You got you cut this guy's tire? Nope, not me. He said you did. He said he saw you. He lied. He did. Dave, damn you sure cut he did. Damn mm -hmm. tire. You're a liar. I did not hey, cut hey, it. Hey, don't tell me well, I'm a liar, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're a damn Be quiet liar, a minute, baby. will you? That's my okay. car sitting there. If I cut his tires, why didn't he cut what's my tires? What's your address, David? Huh? About six months three old man. No street number. I see you over here all the time. I'm pretty sure you stay. You know where I'm at. So you didn't do it. You say he did it. Yeah, I did. You saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Well, when you sober up, go see the prosecutor and get a warrant for it. Hey, hey, hey. 
Get your butt in the house. Yeah, that'd probably be a good place for him to go. I know, I know. Get your butt in the house. Especially being drunk. I know, I know. I know. I don't care. Hey, hey, I, hey, I, I don't give a damn. No, I didn't cut your goddamn tires. You whoa, step around. Whoa, 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 be quiet, will you? Just be okay, quiet. Okay. Take him in the house. All right. I will. Step around. Thank you, Officer Dallas. Take him in the house before Thank I change you. my mind. Both these guys are pretty well intoxicated. Uh, I won't be surprised if we get a call back here later on something else. Or they both pass out first. I don't know. Uh, alcohol is a, it's a big problem. It's a real big problem. Some of the liquor stores down here in, in North Little Rock in the run-down parts of the town is uh, you could sit outside the liquor store and just watch a steady flow of people all day long, in and out, in and out, buying beer. And it, uh, it, it contributes to a lot of the problems. I think a lot of, especially domestic violence that goes on. Uh, 22, we do have a call back. Uh, we'll see if we can get hold of it. Yeah, we're on to be 96. I've already uh, talked to him once. And we're en route back to the same location we were at just a little while ago. Intoxicated individuals. Apparently they uh, decided not to get along with each other. Two twenty two is ninety seven. Careful. Careful. There you go. Y'all hey. into it again? David. No, I ain't been no I've been right in the house. He's been right here, David. Well, now he says that you stabbed his tires too. I done I it. Did. If you want if deal wants to come did? down, I done no. it. David. Huh? David. Well, how about we go out here and see if we can't work this out? Okay. Hey, y'all acting like it's a drug bust or something. Nah, nah you know, drug bust. Let's go around here and see if we can work things out with Sam. Right let's go talk about it. That y'all got to flip so close to each other. I okay. thought we worked it out a while ago. Okay. Now, what is it that you guys are flaring up over again? Hey, I cut the tires. I cut the tires. Yeah. I'll pay for them. Yeah. Well, you said he's going to pay for them. You got any money on you now? Nope. You want to pay for his tires? Nope. Are you going to pay for his tires? Nope. He's not going to pay for his tires. You know what that means, don't you? He said he wasn't. Well, what are we going to do so y'all get along? Hey, this is like the second time now. I went over and went back in the house like you told me to do. Huh? He's been in the house since uh, you told him. I, I just heard that from him. Thank you. Yeah. You got to pay for daddy old tires. Them are not my tires. Them are my so dad's tires. So what are we going to do to solve the problem so we don't have to come he back out here again? He's going to have to pay for daddy old tires. He just said he wasn't, so are you going to prosecute him? Huh? You ain't gonna pay for Daddy O's tires. Well, you ain't. So are you gonna go in the house? Yeah, I'm going in the house. Well, why don't we go in the house now? Okay. okay. And I'll make a deal with you. What? If I catch you back out here, sitting on his porch, walking back here, if I see you back here, that work. I'm gonna take you to jail. Okay. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Man. Going over to my Come on. Man. Come on. Okay. Be nice, man. What do you think? Come on, take me down here. Let's go. You want to go to jail? No. Is that where you want to go, is jail? Mm -hmm. You guys, let me sew him. Huh? You want to go to jail? I think we ought to no. take it. Just solve the problem. I need to go. No, don't. Put your beer down. Don't. Put your cigarette in your beer down. No, put your beer down. Put your beer down. Put it down. Put your cigarette out. You burn that cigarette, we're going to have a major problem. I said put your cigarette down. We'll be back in about 30 minutes. No, I don't, no, think, I don't so. think so. That's why do I going to jail? Because you're drunk and you're messing with other people's stuff, man, okay? I ain't messing with nobody's stuff. You know? You want that? Give that lighter, lighter, lighter. Cool. Come on, walk this way. Come on. David, you Don't try to kick nice. nothing. That's what happens when you try to reason with somebody that's intoxicated. They just you gotta make a believer out of them. Being a police officer in the city of Little Rock has its moments. Uh, it can go from... Uh, completely boring to more action than you ever bargained for. Uh, one minute you'll be sitting writing a report, nothing going on, it's a quiet night. And next thing you respond to a domestic disturbance and you're involved in a fight, it accelerates, you have the potential to get hurt. Uh, officers do tend to get hurt while trying to dissolve uh, other people's personal problems. 44 to 41, I'm gonna go down to 14th to cut across. We just got a call to an assault in progress. We got a male subject beating a pregnant female. 
Uh, we've also got rescue and, and MIMS on the way. 63, your call, 65 to back, on the disturbance, 1801, Manor Drive, 1801, driving a black male. How are you? Ma'am? How are you? Ma'am? Why don't you tell me what happened now, okay? Oh, man. Tell me what happened, okay? Talk to him and tell him what happened. He had a stick and he threw it on that way somewhere. Uh huh. Uh, he beat me with a stick. He beat you with a stick. Okay. Talk to these men right here, and they're gonna take care of you. Okay. You probably need to go to the hospital and get some kind of treatment. Okay. Tell them where you're hurting at. Okay. Excuse me. Where are you guys at? Oh, you back there. Uh, Victor Lawrence. Is that your wife? No, they ain't my wife. Is that your girlfriend? I don't see how all this can get up in here. And I read up Don't worry about that. Oh, no, I don't sue them once. Don't worry about that. I don't sue them once. You need to settle down, all right? You're going to get yourself in trouble. No, I don't give a damn about somebody shooting me tonight. Back on. Cool. Cool. Okay. Cool out. No, grab that nine millimeter. Cause some other other <laughs> Davidson tried to pull that damn gun. Go on, pull it. You gonna talk to somebody? Yeah, you need to sell yeah, down. Yeah, man. Shoot me. Okay. Shoot oh, me. Go back up to the front. And help the female that's pregnant, please. That's my sister. That's your sister? Yeah. Okay. Stand up. Location. Turn around. Put your hands on that wall. No, you Put your right. hands on that wall. Caroline! Get his hand. Get his hand in the back. Grab my cuffs if you need them. They're back there. You got them? Just let me know. I got one handcuff. I got one over right. Man, you need to relax. You need to relax. Let him cuff you. You got him? Set him up. Set him up. Set him up. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up. Let me get to his back. Come on, you up? Huh? You up? Yep. Okay. Good. Let's go. Don't act stupid when you get out here, okay? No, 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 no. You're coming with us. Which car you want him in? All right, get in that car. Go on, get down inside. No, get in the car. Put that foot in the front. Slide over. All the way in. Stay there. You gonna take him to University Hospital? All right. your brother he's your boyfriend then okay is he the father of your baby huh okay why did he uh, beat you with that stick you don't know okay. hey Corey Corey it's it's boyfriend and uh, he's the father of her baby I ain't no baby. baby. That's my sister that uh, got the baby. Turn okay. around. It's still gonna be domestic, though. No, I ain't gonna get him. Turn around. It's gonna be second-degree battery beating with that club. Yeah, let's untighten him a little bit. All right. 
Hang on the what? I got five police around me. Where can I go? Okay, I'm sorry. You need to calm down, all right? Okay. It's all over with now. Okay. okay. And y'all stand around? Get back in the car. Get back in the car. Get back in the car. Can you stand around? No. Carla, come in for a minute. Get back in the car. Back in the car. Carla! Come, come in for a minute. Please, sir. Come on. Please. Did he hit you, too? Uh -huh. And he got the club out and just clubbed her. Well, now, they were fussing and arguing going on, so that's yeah. something that they just started fussing and fighting. You didn't get the club out right then, and then later on, he got they started just fighting. He started hitting on the club. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll probably get your information here in just a little bit, okay? Don't get out. You keep your legs in. You keep your legs in. I said, don't get out. And look, you just got a little fingernail. What's your name? What's your name? I think I know it. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm Victor Hill. What's your name, Victor? Victor Hill. Victor Hill? I thought maybe I'd seen him before somewhere. No, I stay in the house most of the night. Okay. Okay. Ricky is. okay, you okay? Yes, sir. All right. Just want to make sure he's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Okay. Everything be okay, Victor. Watch your leg. Watch your leg. Okay, I guess we'll meet you down at the, I'll at the DO. Attention or DO where? Yeah, we'll start in the DO, see okay. what they want to do about it. More officers are injured and killed uh, responding to domestic abuse cases because they are violent in nature. Uh, in this situation, it, it could have escalated to the point that uh, one of the officers could have been injured. Uh, a lot of times they will fight you and try and take your handgun away from you, at which point they can use it on you. Uh, fortunately, we had three officers already on the scene, which made it easier to restrain him. Uh, with the least amount of force necessary, and uh, we did successfully take him into custody without any problem. And stay with us on Zone Reality as our Friday evening continues with more cops right after the break. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 